where you're watching from my name is Funke if you are coming across this beautiful face for the first time you're welcome to my channel and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to check up on me I really appreciate you guys so from the title of this video I think we would have uh, we would have known what this video is all about the way nurses and doctors medical practice even the laboratory scientists the way they treat patients the way they, they treat us in this country like i want to rant about them in this video you know i know it's not the health care alone that is faulty in this country so many other things are faulty in this country but for christ's sake people should not joke with other doctors and nurses they should not joke with people's health they should not joke with people's you know medical conditions i've had one or two occasions where i've been treated badly and i know other people that are watching this video also they would have even gotten their own share of this thing i'm talking about mm? it's not right you know to treat people the way nurses and doctors treat us in this country for crying out loud be nice to us be nice to your patients if you don't have any you won't come to you us coming to you for us to come to your place i mean to your offices to your hospitals you know we are there for a reason a cogent reason so treat us right don't be mean to us don't shout at us anyhow especially the nurses ah oh, nurses can be mean in this country yes nurses can be mean i don't want to use the word wicked nurses can be mean in this country I can remember when I was in labor with my first pregnancy. I was in labor. I, I was at the last stage of labor. I know women will know how painful the last stage of labor is. I was on this um, stretcher. What do they put us on? This um, couch that we lay on, you know, when we're about to push our babies. So I was lying there. I was weak. I was tired. I was in severe pain. And you know, what I just needed at the moment was someone to hold on to. And you know in Nigeria, they will not allow your husband to come in. They won't allow your husband to come into the labor room. So I wanted to hold on to someone, you know, to push the baby out. I was weak, I was tired already. I've been in labor for like 16 hours. And I just needed someone to hold, you know, to push out the baby. I wanted to hold a nurse. A woman a woman like myself i wanted to go down i said mommy we call them mommy in this country we call the nurses mommy we don't call them mommy in general hospitals they not attend to you i said mommy please let me hold you let me just hold your hands do you know what the woman said please don't stay my uniform oh. don't use that your dirty hand to stay my uniform i was like mommy i couldn't even say anything at the moment actually because i was in pain at last, I had my baby successfully, all thanks to God Almighty. What would have cost this woman? It, 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 won't, it wouldn't have cost this woman anything to just allow me to, to hold her. I don't, is there any big deal in me holding her? I might be wrong. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if I'm wrong. If it's a bad idea for me to want to hold on to a nurse in labor when I was in labor. You know, that was one of in many cases that same labor experience a nurse had to eat me like she beat me she slapped me on my thigh she said i was not cooperating i was in pain for crying out loud and you still you still had the god you know to beat me in that pain i know some people that are watching from other countries they may be surprised about this yes they beat us in the labor room nurses beat us in the labor room in this country that is not supposed to be. That is not supposed to be. Why would you beat someone that is in labor? You know, when you are in labor, you don't even know what you are doing again. You don't know what you are doing again. So, beating the person is just like, you know, adding salt to the injury of that person. So, that's another thing that is not good that our nurses do in this country. Hmm? And then, of recent, what really prompted me, you know, to make this video today is what happened to me a few days ago. I was sick, 
and I was at the hospital, you know, from the from the reception. I didn't even like the way those people at the reception were doing. They were just all over the place, you know. No professionalism what they were doing, you know, they were shouting. A, a, a patient is standing in front of you, you know. I want that was my first time at that hospital. They wanted to register me, you know. The person that was registering me was talking to someone else, they were discussing other things apart from what they're supposed to be doing at the moment. But I didn't talk. The, at last, they registered me. They said I should go and have my seat, you know. When I saw the doctor, the doctor told me to go and you know, do some tests. I did the tests, and the doc, I, I came back to the doctor. You know to show him the result of my test and the doctor you know the doctor wrote some prescription for me that I should go take it to the pharmacy my people when I got to the pharmacy you know <laughs> Nigerians will relate to this very well you know most pharmacy in Nigerian hospitals they have this small hole that you you will show them your prescription through that small hole that tiny hole you will show them your prescription then they will give you your medicine through that same hole so I gave the woman my the doctor's prescription. Like, okay, good afternoon, ma. The doctor said I should give you. Before the woman collected the thing from me, you see how she was looking at me. I said, ma, this is the uh, paper from the doctor. She was just looking at me like this. This I was looking at her. Eventually, she collected the paper from me. And guys, something that something funny happened afterwards. If you see the way she chewed my medicine at me. I'm looking for some. I needed to dramatize this for you guys. Okay, one in the morning, one in the night. One in the morning, one in the night. Two in the morning, two in the night. Ah, I was like Jesus Christ. That was how she did it. I'm not even exaggerating. She was throwing the medicine at me through that hole. I said that was not enough. There was an injection I was supposed to take. So I got to the room where I was to take the injection. The woman was attending to a woman with a small child. You know how children could be with injections. So the baby was crying. At last, they were able to give the baby the injection. So it was my turn. Like I was standing right at the door, the entrance of that um, injection room. As Uma was coming out, I wanted to step in. The woman started, the nurse started shouting at me. Are you not taking an injection again? She was saying it in Yoruba. Shake Baberemo. Shake Baberemo. Echa Wali Wansi. A meeting lost in Leo and Tomac Bemi, new motto, what he ought to do with you. I was like, Ma, I was waiting here all this while you were attending to someone. And as, as soon as the person left, I wanted to come inside. So, what have I done wrong again? At last, she now said, Come inside, though, and come and take your injection. I was even scared because what this woman will not give me wrong injection like this. If you see how she was angrily breaking the um those glass bottles for injection, she was breaking it bah, bah, bah. and she was you know um withdrawing it or what do you call it inside the syringe. I was scared. Hope oh, this man is not going to give me wrong injection like this. I was just praying. So when she now wanted to give me an injection, something now happened, which I'm still regretting up to date that I didn't reply the woman. Woman now said, "Okay, okay. I lifted my. I was wearing a dress, so I had to lift my dress up for her to give me the injection at the appropriate place. As she lifted my clothes, I mean, as as I lifted my dress, do you know the next thing the woman said? Ba on the street, my shoe are kungo guara ebai. Meaning, why did I have so much stretch marks on my body like this?" I should go and look for something to do to me before it's too late. Ah. I couldn't even talk. I was, I was ashamed of myself. I, was, it, was it ashamed? I was sad. I was sad. Because that's pure body shaming. Thanks to the home training that I have. If not for the home training that I have, I would have replied that woman. Because she herself, she's not perfect. She is not perfect. She's on the big side. That's number one thing. You just have you're on the big side, and I'm very sure you would have stretch marks on your body too. So why are you now shaming me because of my stretch marks? Although I left the place, and as we were stepping out of the hospital, I told my husband, I am never coming back here. He said, what's the matter? I said, don't worry, I am never coming back here. 
So when we got to Melissa told him what happened, he was curious also that ah, how could she say such a thing to me? What was her business with the stretch mark? Is it the stretch mark that you brought to the hospital to be treated? You know, I was just furious. We were both furious. I said, I'm never going back to that hospital. And it's a big hospital you can imagine. The big hospital, I'm not going to mention their name in Ibadan. So that's my recent experience. You know, I've had several experiences, like I said earlier, I've had several experiences, you know, with these Nigerian hospitals, both the government hospitals and the private hospitals. There's this, there's this other hospital where I live. You know, when you go there, you know, because it's a Christian hospital, they first of all do their morning devotion for like an hour. And within that hour, they will not attend to anybody. That is not right. That is not right. To me, I might be wrong, but to me, I think it's not right. Why would you leave patients waiting and they will sing choruses, they will sing praise and worship, they will read Bible, they will preach a message, like a full message, they will sing hymns. After then, they will not start attending to patients. That is not what you're supposed to be. Why would you leave patients waiting while you are doing your morning devotion? We know God heals. You only care for us. God heals. But you should not keep patients waiting. Let's share this video until it gets to the appropriate people. Let's share it. Let our nurses, our doctors, let them see this video. They are not happy about the way you treat us. Be nice to us. You know, I was even thinking at some point that the, the last experience I had that if you are frustrated with this job you are doing, why not resign? Why not leave the job? So why are you putting your frustration on your patients? Hmm? You are pouring your anger on your patients. Eh? If you are tired of the job, leave the job now. Other people will come and do it well. Be nice to us. Hmm? Guys, this will be hope for this video because it's a rant video actually. It's a rant video. But I hope it gets to people you know, that will make the change that we need in our healthcare sector in this country. I know people also have issues abroad. I know. But I don't think it will be as as terrible as we have it here. So, guys, thank you for watching my video today. Thank you for watching my rant video today. I hope you enjoy it. Is this video video enjoyable? I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I want to see your comments. I love to see your comments. I always say this. I love to see your comments. I love to read your comments. And particularly on this issue, I want you to drop comments. Let me know your experiences, the things you have experienced also in Nigerian hospitals. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.